Hi everybody! I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a blog. I'm excited to be back. There's been so much that's been happening. Finally having a moment to breathe and work on some wedding stuff and I'm excited to talk to you today about our wedding invitations and how I've created them. We're finally putting them together. We're going to get them sent out which is really thrilling and exciting. So first of all, we ordered our invitations on Etsy through a shop called DigiBuddha, which I'll put the link to it in the blog. So definitely check them out. They have beautiful stuff. The great thing about them too is they offer uh, printing services as well as digital services. So to save some money, I did do the digital service and I'll show you how they turned out. Here they are, covering up some vital information just for our protection, but they turn out beautiful. They have fronts and backs to them. Very excited. They were also so nice to customize them. This once was the brunch and bubbly portion of it was a um, shower invitation. And then they uh, changed it up a little bit to be able to make it a wedding invitation, which is really cool. Um, so again, just so you can see it too, there's Digi Buddha. That is the brand. So like I said, um, they also, in that $40 that I spent for the digital, it also came with the RSVP card. And they also customized this for us. Not only do they do the customize for the, the date here, but they were able to change it instead of having a food option. We did a song request, which was really fun. Um, we're doing our own music, and so I think that will help us uh, to make the event more enjoyable. Plus, it's a buffet, so we don't have to worry about food choices, and it kind of filled that space. So it's really fun. Um, one of the ways I saved money through this was buying, like I said, the digital copy of it. Happened to find a Groupon that was for Staples, and for, I think it was about 20 bucks. You got 100 five by seven invitations printed, double-sided, which is incredible. It was a great deal. So all together, my invitations um, were $60 for the printing of the, of the invitation themselves, which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, it was a little bit less than that when you count the RSVP card. I ended up printing those at my home printer. That is one thing I wouldn't recommend doing. Um, so I printed them at home in an effort to save money. And then I really probably should be even telling you guys this, guys this, but we glued them together to make this postcard. So that was one thing too we thought was really fun as we made it to a postcard in another effort to save a little bit of money. Saved on postage. Look at that cute bird there. Uh, saved on postage as well as um, we didn't have to buy envelopes. So saved a little bit of money there. So in an effort to do that, and for printing cost, we did create our own postcards. But honestly, it was like $30 to print it. I would just recommend having somebody print it. Again, maybe you could find a good group on for it. So I would recommend that. That's my first off <laughs> I would recommend. So I am also excited to say that the other thing I did was buy a digital copy of our envelope wraps. I'm really into the little details like I've talked about before. So I'm just going to quickly show you the envelope wraps and the way they created them was on a full sheet and a PDF and they sent them to me. So it was 1925 or something of that sort to print 15 of them through them. However, I paid $8, got a digital copy, and then you can make an unlimited amount of prints. The other thing I would recommend in an effort to save money, I'm hand cutting them. Stupid. <laughs> Don't do it that way. I would really recommend having them professionally cut. It'll be very lined up, very nice and neat. I was just kind of also in a hurry um, that particular evening, but I had them printed. I had about 19 pages printed of them, I believe, for uh, about $20, which was also a steal. I thought it was really great. I did have to buy the sticker paper for them though, but all in all, when you think 19 for 15 and I printed 100 of them and ha still have pages left, for about $35 is a really good deal. Maybe even 40, but still a good deal. <laughs> so all in all, they looked really cute. Um, one of the things I did pay a little bit more for was instead of using the white envelopes that came with the invitations that were printed through Staples, I did buy navy ones, but I think they're beautiful and it was one way that we could incorporate that color in. And this is a done one. You can see the envelope wrap. On the other side, it has our personal address on it and it says kindly deliver to, which I think is a really fun touch. The other thing I did um, that just to have that fun touch that you don't necessarily have to have, save the expense of you, don't need it, um, but a one way to kind of bring in our bird theme that we have, <laughs> our love bird theme, um, it was in the our save the dates, and Zazzle has the same print that you could do to make a stamp. 
So we did the same thing, made the stamp, just to really personalize it, and like I said, bring in that theme into our invitation since it wasn't um, in the actual printed invitation. And then another way that we incorporated our, um, what, it, what would you say, our our vintage theme is to create the lace look on the invitations, which I just love. I think it really adds a pop to it. So one way to save money on that is I actually found them at the dollar store. They come in a pack of 32. This is the, um, let's see, what size is this? Eight inch diameter. But honestly, I kind of wish I would have paid a little bit more and bought the 10 inch ones because they would have wrapped fine on their own. I also bought 12 inch ones from the dollar store, which was just too big. It completely covered up the whole um, invitation. And I really liked this delicate look of it, which we do have some that are completely wrapped, but I think this is really pretty where they meet in the middle. So I ended up splicing two of them together and just glue sticking them. Honestly, most people don't look at the back, so it's not a big deal. But if you wanna save your time, yourself a little bit of time, but you have to spend a little bit of money, uh, a little bit more money, I should say, than just, by the bigger the bigger doily but I really love the look I think all together I'm happy with what we created and I'm very excited to share them with everybody I um, just a few tips of things get them professionally cut get them professionally printed definitely look for groupons and opt for digital items especially if you're buying them early. I bought our invitations uh, probably about eight or nine months ago, and then I waited and I looked for Groupons and I had them printed that way and it saved a tremendous amount of money. Had we printed them through Digibudo, although it would have come with the envelopes and stuff as well, I think it was upwards of $400. Um, and this way I spent all together, including all the papers that we had to buy, the stickers, the glue sticks. Um, I even made some of my own personal that had our website on them just told people so that they could keep this since they're sending back of the rsvp card on it um all together it cost maybe maybe about 150 dollars for everything that's including all the envelopes like i said glue sticks all the works 150 dollars, which came out to about 15 cents an invitation. So when you think when you spend a lot of time, most people spend upwards of five dollars an invitation each. So this was fifteen cents an invitation. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, I did find a copy of when I was practicing. So this is what it looked like and when it's fully covered with. This. So this was the twelve inch doily. Would you like that? And honestly, it probably would hold the RSVP card and that other little website card in there a lot better than the single one. Um, but I just wanted to show you what that looked like. So then the other thing I wanna to talk to uh, you about is our save the date, which I was also really excited about. Like I said, I got the look of it from Zazzle, which is super cute, love it. We picked our picture, which my sister-in-law took, or future sister-in-law, I should say, took our picture. We're very excited about them, um, but we had this print and that's the same as our stamp. I'll show you that again. Same as our stamp that we did. Just a great tie-in. We also bought um, circles, and I should talk about it, I guess, and I could, is our thank you cards. I bought them, oh gosh, probably about two years ago before we even got engaged. I knew that we really wanted to have gold and white stripes. I found them at Target in the spot section, which we've talked about before. Spot section has been incredible for finding things for our wedding. We found the skewers. We found uh, pendants. We found the gold numbers that we're using for our centerpieces. So much has come from that section. And I found these cards. They're a pack of eight for a dollar. A dollar. So I went to both of the targets here in town and I bought them all up. <laughs> we got about 10 packages of them. So that's about 80 thank you cards. And to customize them, I actually found the same print that we used for our save the dates as well as that stamp. And I had it uh, customized with our initial, same kind of thing here, had the initial and um, the date on it and put that on the front of the cards and then they're blank inside. It was so perfect, so easy and all together for 80 thank you cards. I spent uh, 26, $23 for the, for the sticker we stuck on them, the custom sticker, as well as um, $6 for the cards themselves. And they happen to have a coral envelope, which was perfect since that's right in our color scheme. 
it worked out so well. I've been pretty fortunate on all of our stationary stuff to have found Groupons or good deals like that and have just done things along the way. So when you kind of come up with a theme, definitely, I'm fixing my hair, look at this crazy thing here. <laughs> um, when you kind of come up with a theme, go with it. You know, if that's something you really like and you find things, buy them. Even if you don't end up using them or you find a different purpose for them, I found things so inexpensively. We bought birds, ceramic birds that will go for our centerpieces, which we'll talk about probably closer to the wedding. We'll actually maybe do a film um, of us making the centerpieces, pieces, which will be really exciting. But we found little birds that will go on the tables as well. We found them when they were 60% off at Michael's probably about two and a half years ago, way before we were even engaged. And we just really love the theme and the idea of it. And... Um, went for it. Once we bought the first piece, then we went for it. I was like, if anything, people will just think we really love birds and they'll be all over our house. But we stuck with the theme. So going back to our save the date, sorry about that. Keeping with the postcard theme here, we um, did do a postcard, found it on Zazzle, um, and then had them printed. I uh, had a great coupon through Zazzle, which made them pretty inexpensive, which was fun. Of course, they have all the customizations that you can write our kind of other idea, our theme, our motto for our, our relationship is always an adventure. So we got to add that in, which was really fun and starting our new adventure. And I'm really sad this one didn't end up with a stamp on it. So I could show you, but we also ordered custom stamps that said greetings from Tulsa. And that's where we're getting married at. So it was just kind of cute and fun touch um, to talk about um, the wedding and where it was going to be and stuff on the save the date and made it really simple. And again, postcards are wonderful things. They're only 34 cents instead of the 47 cents is also keeps rising in price. It will always remain a little bit cheaper to have a postcard. Uh, again, you don't have to do custom stamps. It's pretty inexpensive. We ended up finding bird stamps for our reply cards which obviously fit in very well with our theme. So it's possible to find good things without having to spend a little extra to have them customized. So the last thing I was going to talk to you about, and unfortunately I cannot find them, everything somehow makes it into my wedding binder except this one thing, and it was our engagement party station or invitation so since i'm talking about stationery and cards and everything like that i did want to bring it up same kind of deal i was lucky enough to find a groupon and it ended up being eight dollars because we only printed 25 invitations for our engagement party so eight dollars to print invitations they already had the cutest um invitation prints um, on their website so I just took what they had it would says let it love it first fright we ended up doing a Halloween engagement party since we loved Halloween and our house was all decorated and it really turned out so much fun but the invitations were just adorable and like I said eight dollars for 25 of them so again group on group on do it look it up um, definitely can find a way to save you money. I've also heard that as a recommendation for honeymoons. So as you're looking for something, save a few bucks. Look at what kind of a lot of um, offers they have to have airfare, which is really great. It's all inclusive and it's wonderful. So check out Groupon. I'll put a link in the <laughs> website and the blog as well is with the Digi Buddha um, staples and some of the other things I'll talk about. If I can find it, I'll try and post a picture in the blog as well. And some more close-up shop um shots of some of the other cards and things like that that we've made you'll see these prints and items again um, we're going to use them through the for the favors we're going to kind of incorporate them around in our signage and we'll talk a little bit more about signage as i am able to create it so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i hope you enjoyed it sorry it was kind of all over the place. Also in the blog, I will show you and take pictures close up of how to make them. It's a little bit harder when I don't have a stand for my phone to be able to show you. And I'm sitting in kind of a weird situation to be able to watch TV. I pulled over my dining table so I could watch TV. <laughs> well, I'm doing it because it's a labor of love and it takes time, but it's really boring at the same time. I'm just kidding, I love it. Uh, anyway, so I'll take pictures and I'll show you how I actually made the invitations with the doilies and put them all together. And I hope you really enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.